Short row left. Under pressure, being chased, and Mike Dan is going to get his first sack as a chief. The first sack of the game, and it's a huge loss. That was part of a really nice rookie season for edge rusher Mike Dana in 2020. The Chiefs grabbed him in the fifth round of last year's draft, and he quickly showed what he could do throughout the season, earning a spot in the rotation at defensive end. And now with the 2021 draft nearly here, will the Chiefs add another pass rusher to help bolster their ability to get after the quarterback in 2021? For more on that possibility, we're checking in today with Mike Renner of Pro Football Focus. We're chatting with numerous draft experts in the weeks leading up to the draft about certain position groups, and today is all about edge rushers. So, Mike, my first question for you, just looking at the 2021 draft as a whole, how would you evaluate the overall depth at edge rusher? I think it's one of the deepest position groups in the entire draft class. It doesn't have a Chase Young. It doesn't have a Nick Bosa. It doesn't have that guy at the top or guys, whereas a couple years ago you had Josh Allen and, you know, Nick Bosa. But I do think it has a ton of depth in this class of guys who – maybe not just day one, but into day two, that you have athletes. And I think that's the biggest thing, is that there is a specific body type skill set that wins on the edge. It is one of the best scouted positions, I'll say, in the NFL in terms of the NFL does a good job of hitting at that position and identifying the talent at that position. So I think there's a lot of guys that fit that athletic and physical mold in this draft class. There's just not a lot of guys who have already you know, become polished products on the football field. Sure. Well, we'll start in the first round here. The Chiefs basically took an edge rusher in their first round a few years ago when they traded a first round pick for Frank Clark. Of course, he's a veteran, but uh, ended up being a de facto first round pick for the Chiefs. If they want to add an edge rusher in the first round opposite of Clark uh, here in 2021, who are some potential fits there at uh, pick number 31? I think there's a number of guys. It's really going to depend on how other people see this class. And I think that's the biggest thing is probably the top six or so edge rushers in this class one through six, the ordering of them is really going to be in the eye of the beholder, the eye of the scheme, whatnot, whatever sort of role you want. But I think the guys, you kind of have your fingers crossed, really hope and fall to you if you're the Kansas City Chiefs realistically, are guys like Jalen Phillips from Miami. He could, because he's had concussions, had to retire early on in his career from UCLA, ended up transferring to Miami. From a physical talent perspective, maybe the most talented edge rusher in this draft class, ridiculous get off, long, size, strength, you name it. He's got it. That's why he was a five-star recruit. You know, I think the number one extra recruit the year he was coming out of high school. But those issues with, you know, is he going to have to retire again early on in his career? Really going to give teams pause. So be hoping for him. And the other guy I'll say is one of my favorites in the draft class, Jason Owe from Penn State. I think he could be there. He didn't have a sack this past year in six games, and that's all you're going to hear about this spring or whenever he's drafted is, oh, he didn't have a sack, didn't have a sack. But he actually was rushing the passer well in terms of the pressures, the hits, those sort of things that we track here at PFF did really well. Uh, graded out almost identically in terms of pass rushing grade to Gregory Rousseau from Miami, where everyone's going to say, oh, 16 sacks he had back as a redshirt freshman. Well, he had almost identical pass rushing grades. They're almost getting to the – quarterback at identical rates and Owe, I'm sure we'll see his physical testing at some point these pumped up numbers that everyone's given out but he truly is a physical freak you walk you flip on this guy's tape he reportedly runs in the four threes at four, 255 pounds and I would actually believe it from having watched him track down wide receivers and that sort of thing in space well, that's why uh, PFF is so helpful, right? You look at pass pressures, it's way more than just sacks. It's pressures, it's getting after the quarterback. And that's what you guys do a great job of. So I'm uh, looking forward to seeing a lot of those rankings here as the draft uh, gets closer. Now, if you saw with Mike Dana last year with the Chiefs, uh, you can find edge rushers later on in the draft. Who are some guys in day two and day three that make sense for the Chiefs that you're keeping your eye on? Yeah, I think if you're looking later in the draft, you either look for small school guys like Mike Dana, I guess he ended up transferring to Michigan, but the guys who are kind of under scouted, under identified, because I don't care how dominant you are at, you know, Louisiana Tech or whatever guys in this class, like UAB, you're going to have to be a physical freak still to go in the first round. And so I think you got one either small school guys or guys who are these physical freaks, but maybe injuries, maybe off field, that sort of thing. So that's, I think, what you're identifying at the edge position. The guys I would say fit that mold the best. Peyton Turner from Houston. Again, small school guy, only played four games, I believe, this past season, but has the ideal, you know, six foot five, 270 pounds, almost a seven foot wingspan, has those ideal traits. Uh, another guy I would throw in that mix is Cam Sample from Tulane. He may not be necessarily a sleeper anymore. He went to the Senior Bowl and dominated throughout that week of practice, so he really made a name for himself. And I think another guy who fits kind of the underperformed 
with injuries and whatnot at a big school is Joshua Kando, who has almost an identical body type to Gregory Rousseau, who's going to go in the first round at six foot seven, 265 pounds, ridiculously long arms, just never really learned how to rush the pass. There was a five star coming out of high school and never really developed, but has all the athletic tools that if you can get him in the building, coach him up a little better than maybe what he got at Florida State, you could have something. Awesome. Well, should be fun to see how it all plays out on draft weekend. He is Mike Rayner. Check out his work at Pro Football Focus. If you're trying to take your uh, knowledge of football to the next level, Pro Football Focus is the place to do it. Mike, awesome stuff, man. I really appreciate your time. For sure, Matt. Appreciate having me on, man.